Hey YouTube, it's just Brandy and let's talk Black Ink Crow. <laughs> Tonight's episode, I mean, it was kind of a filler to me. Not a lot happened. We kind of just moved the story along. So um, when the episode started, of course, we were waiting to see what was going to happen between Caesar and Duchess. But before they got into that, they did a little bit more of Young Bay's story. And we found out that she was recently divorced has been divorced for a year and her husband was a barber and had his own shop and she found out that he was sleeping with somebody um in the shop or whatever and it was so funny because she said she found out he was sleeping with a bum bitch which come on ladies nine times out of ten when your man cheats what does he cheat with a bum bitch. It's never a upgrade. It's always a bum. Always. Not surprised. So, um, they didn't do anything this week with oh shit in his story. I guess they're going to pick that up next week. So, we also found out that Sky, who had two children, one when she was 14, one when she was 15, we thought that both children was by the same guy comes to find out that the first baby was by some other dude so she literally had two kids back to back 14 and 15 by two different guys and the guy at the time when she was 14 was 29 that is so sick and so sad and just to know that she was taken advantage of by a grown ass man when she was a child and then knowing what her family situation was, knowing how her mother was, you can see that she was easy prey for a man to just come tell her what she wanted to hear. And at that young age, she was not able to make the determination of, you know, somebody being what they say they are and just you know, somebody saying all the right things and she just fell into a trap. I feel sorry for her. I mean, you can tell that she has had a very hard life. So I'm glad, you know, for whatever success that she's having now and being able to support her own self, you know, from the little success of the show because that girl has had a very, very hard life. So let's talk about the whole Caesar and Duchess situation because it is so suspect to me. It's almost to the point where did Duchess send a girl in there to say that just so she could have an out? Because if you go back a couple episodes, she was talking about how she was so in love with Seeds and, you know, they was building a empire and no one could tear them apart and all of this. And somebody random off the street in New York City, you know, it's crazy people everywhere. So some crazy lady comes in off the street. You don't know her from nowhere. She has no receipts. She comes in making allegations with nothing but her word. And from that, you break down, have to leave, have a, a breakdown. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just, I'm just so embarrassed and all that. Get a hotel room instead of staying at home. And it's, the reason that I don't like her is because it always feels like to me she wants him to bend to her way. She's not willing to meet him halfway. She wants him to just do whatever she wants. And it's like, do you want a man or do you want a puppet? She wants him to buy her this house down here. She wants him to move from where he is to where she is. I mean, it's just everything. She feel like somebody is supposed to just come to her, do for her. Like, that's not reality. That's not a relationship. That's not compromise. And she was quick to leave and go back to North Carolina. She's always running. I mean... If you have been with somebody for five years and you was wanting to build a life with them, 
Why would you take a stranger's word? Why would you leave? Why would you just give up so easy? I understand people mess up, but people mess up and your feelings don't just stop. You don't just turn off your feelings. If you needed some time, that's fine, but why would you leave the ring? Even if you was going to leave them, why did you leave the ring? For real. I mean, didn't you earn that? Anyway, so she's saying she's over it. And the, the thing to me is, if Caesar was the dog that you want him to be, that you want everybody to believe that he is, when you left, he would have been at the Halloween party turning up like, oh, I'm single for the night. But he wasn't. He was like, I'm not even, this is supposed to be my anniversary and the person who I want to be with is not here. Like, you could tell he really loved her because at the end of the day, he was like, I need to get out of here. Like, he, he couldn't even think about being around no other women. And when she was at the coffee shop or whatever, once again, it was on her terms. I texted him because now I'm ready to talk about it. Oh, so now because you ready, he's supposed to just come running. I mean, he claimed he had an issue with his daughter or whatever. And, you know, with all this technology, you should have sent her a text message. But we don't know that he didn't send her a text message saying, you know, it's an emergency with Cheyenne and I have to leave. I don't know what the situation was. But at the end of the day, if you don't have communication, you have issues. If you don't have trust, you don't you have major issues and obviously they already were having communication issues distance issues now you have trust issues that's a lot of issues to have even though you have a lot of time that's a lot of issues to have when you're trying to to build a marriage and so i mean it is what it is some people in your life for a reason season and a lifetime and maybe this season of Duchess and Caesar is over. Hopefully, you got something positive out of it. They made you a better person. You learned something about yourself. You were able to grow from it. But, I mean, it's over. It is what it is. I don't know if they're going to have any more interaction. But, I mean, based on social media now, we already know they're not back together. They didn't get back together. It's a wrap. She has a new boyfriend. They always show him with pictures with different women or whatever, saying he has a new girlfriend. So, I mean, it is what it is. It wasn't, so far, it hasn't been like a big giant blow up. She just kind of, like she said, she overreacted. And I think she knows that she overreacted. Maybe it's the way that VH1 showed it. Maybe there's information that we don't know. But to me... This whole situation is overreacted. I feel like she wanted out and she used this as her opportunity to get out. That's what it looks like as of right now. Now, that may change going forward in the season if additional information comes out. But as of today, it looks like she wanted out. And this was the excuse that she could use to get out, leave New York, and be at her shop full time. And if that's what she wanted to do, that's fine. But I feel like... You should have just been a woman about the situation and said, you know what, I love you, but unfortunately, I want to be at my shop. My heart is in North Carolina, and I know that you don't want to be there. I don't want to be in New York, and as much as, you know, I want this to work out, it's just not going to work out. I mean, be a grown woman, be a boss about the situation, but it is what it is. That's my take on this week's Black Ink Crew. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and like this video. And if you don't agree, or if you do agree, let's talk about it in the comments. Bye.